Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and uh, it's been a long time, it's been a while, it's been like three months I should say since my last video, um, it's been a lot going on, uh, we had the holidays, my son got out of basic training uh, and uh, just relaxing, getting ready for Valentine's Day. But I uh, just want to say hi to Fabulous540. Uh, she's been keeping up with me. She's so sweet. Um, I just want to let everybody know that I'm still uh, trying to conceive. I just took some time off. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I had an ectopic pregnancy back in October. Uh, I lost one of my tubes. And, uh, of course, I lost the baby. And... Um, uh, I had a blood transfusion as well, and uh, it, it was a lot. I had to, I had to deal with a lot. Um, now I feel better, feel better enough to make a video. And uh, I'm out here in the country, out here deep in the horror of Texas, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can feel. My arms getting tired. Um, I went through this where uh, I was like, I, I can't do this. Um, I ran into the paramedics that saved my life and in, in the store over the holidays. And they were like, oh, okay, you know, there's, there's groups and stuff like that for people. And they can help you uh, get over the loss and everything. And, you know, they asked me, was I still trying to have a baby? And at that time, I was like, no. Oh, hell no. Um, that was too much. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to lose my life, and I'm not trying to lose body parts. Like, it really bothered me that I lost one of my tubes. I was like, okay, I only have two. I can't be losing tubes around here. And um, so I had to, it just mentally, it was stressful. I was, I was a little down about it. I had to take two months off of work, so I don't work as much as I used to. Uh, I used to work nights, for those of you that don't know, um, and um, so I don't work as much as I used to. I just, I went through um, a, a lot. It was just, I had, I was, uh, I was to myself a lot, just thinking about everything that happened and what was going on, uh, but um, just after the first of the year, I said, you know what, I'm ready to try this again. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. This time I'm going to, you know, uh, take things a little bit slower. Because I got pregnant really fast. I got, I think I got pregnant like two, three months after the surgery, July. Yeah, two months. I had the surgery July the, 4th, July the 5th, and I got pregnant. I found out I was pregnant September 25th. So uh, we're taking it a little bit slower now. What I'm doing is uh, I got an appointment to get an HSG test, and that's where they put a dye up inside of you to see if your fallopian tubes are blocked, to see how your uterus is sitting, and it tests a lot of things. But what I'm looking for is to see if my fallopian tubes are still open, tube is still open, and to see how big my tube is because I don't want another egg to get caught in my tube. I don't want to lose another tube. I only have one left. Um, I don't want to do in vitro. I, that's not my thing. Um, so I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to do that. My appointment is set up for February and, uh, hopefully I get some good news. And if I get not so good news, as long as we're able to help, as long as I'm able to help myself get through it, like if a tube is blocked, I can do something about it or I know about it. Um, it's been hard uh, these last couple of months. Uh, me and my honey's been baby dancing and stuff, and I'm like, oh, crap, I hope I'm not pregnant. And I know that's not what I'm supposed to be saying because I want to be pregnant, but I don't want to be pregnant and have another ectopic pregnancy. I just want to be, I want this to be a healthy pregnancy for me and the baby and for my husband because it stressed him out what I was going through, and that stressed me out because he was stressed out and, it was just, it was, it was a whole lot going on. I mean, the testing, the, the doctors and the nurses, and it was just a lot. So we needed time to just, to ourselves, to recover, 
and to figure out what we were going to do next without, you know, um, stressing each other out about it. Uh, what else? I'm still taking the the prenatal vitamins. I'm still taking my folate, my uh, my maca root. I'm still taking the Vitex, especially now after the after the miscarriage because it's like when your periods are abnormal. You don't know when you're gonna start. I, I'm, my cycles aren't the way they used to be. So now I really need to take that stuff, and I can say that it works. It helps. Um, I think I'm balanced. I think I'm back um, in, in, I have a normal cycle, uh, so I can, I can chart, I can, my, my cycle is regulated where I can, um, I can pretty much predict ovulation and stuff like that, so, um, but to all of your, all of y'all that was trying to find out what was going on and, and worried about me and seeing after me and asking me questions. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Uh, it's a few weeks before my birthday and I decided I'm ready again. So stay tuned for more videos. Uh, did I just get honked at? <laughs> In the country. <laughs> Oh shit, chocolate thunder getting honked at by some honky tonking people in the country. Oh shit. But okay. Anyway, enough goofing around. Uh oh, there's my husband. What is he doing? There he is, folks. What is he doing? <sighs> so if y'all have any questions, let me know. Uh I might do another video about uh the topic pregnancy and and what happens afterwards because it was it was hard mentally it was harder than what I thought it would be and um, I really did think about not having a baby um, I know that may sound horrible but I really, it scared me. It scared me a lot. And, uh, so I'll make up another video about that. Uh, I cried a lot to myself. Uh, so I'm taking it easy, taking my multivitamins, taking care of myself. I'm healthier mentally as well as physically. And, um, for all you ladies that wanted to know, Fine. Where is my page? Fine Hair Naturals. Duh. I'm crazy out here. I'm back. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.